everyone, Mr. Newsom with this week's activity. Now this is one that's very special because Miss Murphy actually is using this right now for her recovery. And it's kind of a cool thing. It's going to exercise your brain. So it's gonna work that right brain and that left brain, right hand, left hand. Sometimes you're gonna find that if you're right-handed, it's gonna be super easy and that left hand's gonna be a little more difficult. And of course, if you're left-handed, then that'll be super easy and your right hand will be kind of difficult. But today we have to work both hands and get them going. Kind of a little bit like our juggling activity a few weeks ago. So let's see how you do. And here comes the activity. So all you need is an ordinary tennis ball, just like this one. The very first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna bounce the tennis ball with our right hand, just like this. So you're just gonna bounce it. You're gonna see if you just bounce it 10 times, catch it, bounce it, catch it, bounce it. So 10 times. And then you might work up to 20 times and 30 times, just depending on what you wanna do. All right, so that's kinda getting you warmed up. Now you're gonna do it with the left hand. So you're gonna bounce it, catch it, bounce it, catch it. You want to get really good at it. You might notice that's a little more difficult to catch it with that left hand. So again, 10 times and work your way up to 20, then maybe 30. Just challenge yourself each time. Now we're going to make the letter V with our ball. So we're going to bounce it from one hand to the other. So you bounce it, catch it, bounce it, catch it, bounce it, catch it, bounce it, catch it. All right, and you just keep going, and maybe you could even get a little faster at it, get super good. Now, just like in basketball, which we talked about earlier in the year, if you get a little bit lower, you can go a little bit faster, okay? All right, so again, as you go lower, you can bounce that ball a little bit faster and challenge yourself even more. So you wanna get a little bit more challenging each time. Work that hand-eye coordination, get that right brain, left brain thing going. All right, I'm gonna show you the next thing. Now, if you can find a wall somewhere in, in your house, like I found one outside, but it's getting hot outside, so you want to make sure you maybe try to find one inside if it's not too much trouble or not too noisy, bugging people. But I found a nice wall outside. So if you really want to challenge yourself further with this, you can do an underhanded throw against a wall. So you're going to start with your right hand just like you did with the bounce. So you throw it and you catch it against the wall, just like so. All right? Underhanded catch and then catch and then try it with your left hand. Remember, so if you're right handed, it's going to be super easy and your left hand might be harder. If you're left handed, then your left hand will be easy and your right hand will be harder. So now try it with your left hand. And then, just like we did when we bounced it on the ground, try going from one hand to the other hand, just like so. And you're just throwing it and catching it. You got to really keep your eye on that ball. All right, and it looks a lot easier than it actually is for sure, okay? And then of course, the closer you are, the speedier it is, and the further you are now with the against the wall thing, the further you are, it's actually a little more difficult because you gotta throw the ball just a little bit harder. <laughs> All right, you guys, now the last challenge in this activity is you're gonna now throw the ball against the wall and allow it to bounce once between you and the wall. All right, now you can do this, I'm kind of close to the wall so that the camera can see everything, but you can back up a little bit if you need to. Now with this one, again, you're gonna start with just one hand, your right hand, and it might be easy with that right hand if you're right-handed, okay? So you're going to bounce and just use that right hand first and catch it. Then try it with your left hand, just like so, and you're catching it. Then, of course, you want to try to do one hand to the other hand, just like this. Very nice, just like so. 
And of course, you can always speed it up and challenge yourself further and really get fast. Once you get good at it, you can go a lot faster. So that's this week's activity. Hope you had fun. See ya. Oh, 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 oh.